Today we're going to be going over setting up your Egg Vision cameras to work on one of our Invid Paramount series recorders. Um, the way that we do this and the way we make it easy to do is um, because on our Paramount series recorders we have what's called a Hype Vision protocol uh, built into the system. So it makes it easy. So instead of using an OnViv uh, protocol to add in the cameras, we actually have a built-in protocol that sees those hike vision cameras. The benefit of this is on those hike vision cameras, a lot of times to get the Envif working when you're using a third-party system because we do have no hike vision affiliation, um, is because when you're doing that, a lot of times you have to log into the hike vision camera, enable the Envif settings, create a username and password for Envif. This takes that step out of the equation for you and essentially makes those Hike Vision cameras 80% plug and play, I would usually say, with our Paramount Series Recorder. And today I'm going to be going over the steps of how you can accomplish this very simply. So, for starters, we're logged in via the web portal. Okay, so over here at the top, you have Live Display, Playback, Search and Backup, Intelligent Analytics, and Function Panel. Go ahead and click on your Function Panel. If you're following along on the local monitor, these options are going to be in the bottom left corner. Uh, with a circle of four squares, that's your start button, and go ahead and click on settings. It'll say settings instead of function panel. So once you click on settings, you will see this interface, and everything's going to be pretty much identical from that point on. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do, so let's say you have a Hike Vision camera and you're, you're connecting it to our system. Um, let's say you have a bunch of them, okay? Maybe you have a customer that was using Hike previously, and now they're switching over to Invid. You're just replacing the recorder. You're leaving the cameras in place. Okay, so that's the example that I'm going to be using for this. Um, and you'll get kind of the idea of, of what we're doing here. Um, so the first step that you're going to want to do before you plug in the cameras, fire up the unit, go to your function panel or settings, go to network. Okay, you're going to want to go to network. You're going to go to internal Ethernet port here at the top. And you're going to want to go ahead and change this. Okay, so you would change this to let's say 192.168.254. And the reason we're switching it to that is because instead of you having to go to each of the Hike Vision cameras and switch the IP addresses to get them to work on our platform, you'll just change the internal IP address of the Paramount NVR, change it here really quick. And then instead of having to change all your cameras, you're good to go. Okay, you have the IP, the internal IP changed. You just hit apply here in the bottom right. And then um, the cameras will switch over. Now, let's say you had some Paramount cameras already plugged into the back here. If you change this, are the Paramount cameras going to come back up? Yes, they will. So keep that in mind. You're not going to hurt anything by changing this. Let's say you added a couple hikes um, after the fact or whatever it might be, whatever your situation might be. You can just come in here and change this to match what the IP scheme already is. Um, so you go ahead and put that information in, hit apply. Then once that's done, you're going to want to go to your camera section. Okay, go to camera, and then I want you to go to add camera here in the top left. And really all we're going to do here is where it says default password down here in the bottom right, you're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, these are the different protocols that you have. These are the usernames of your cameras that it's looking for. These are the passwords that it's looking for. Being their third-party cameras, we our recorder doesn't know what the password to your Hike Vision cameras could be. Okay, so what you're going to do here is Invid 2 is our Hike Vision protocol. Okay, that's the protocol we built just to see Hike Vision cameras. So that way it makes them easier to communicate with our recorders. Okay, so very simply, all you're going to do is you have your admin credentials here. Okay, that's probably the username of the camera. And then you're going to go ahead and put in whatever your password is to your cameras. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and put in whatever your password is to your cameras here. And then hit OK. Go ahead and plug in your cameras at this point, and they should pretty much come up plug and play. Now, if for some reason they don't, could be the firmware on the cameras or something like that. So uh, sometimes what you may have to do is you go to the add camera section. You go so you should be able to plug them in at this point. They should come up. If for some reason they don't come up, go ahead and hit add manually. Type in the IP address of what your cameras are. It's probably 192.168.254.2.3.4.5 and what and so on. So that's usually what they are. Go ahead and switch this protocol to Invid 2. It'll already have the password filled in there for you for the camera because you changed that earlier. And then go ahead and hit add here in the bottom right and it'll add the cameras right in. If the cameras still don't work at that point, 
one other little thing that you can try to do is you can try and log in directly to the camera. Sometimes there's a, a pro um, a setting on those cameras, on those hike vision cameras, where you can go to, uh, I think it's setup, and then you're going to go to security under advanced, and then you're going to go to security management and turn off illegal login. Turn that off, hit OK, reboot the camera, should come right up online. All right, so pretty much plug and play. We usually say about 80%. We try to make it as easy as, well, this is the easiest way to do it. So um, if you're adding those third-party cameras, uh, you, you know, this is a good uh, uh, course of action to follow. Thank you.